It's NAB 2023, I'm here in the North Hall and I'm here with Alex from EVS, CTO. Hi Alex, how are you doing? Hi, thank you, I'm very good. Been a good show so far? Brilliant so far, yeah, very, very busy. First two days, full stands, uh, every day, loads of visitors. So yeah, really happy with the attendance, with the, the, the quality of the people that are coming into the booth as well. It's been yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. So EVS, I mean, a, you know, a, 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 a pillar of broadcast manufacturers. I mean, you, you, what are you up to at the moment and before we get onto what the new stuff is? Yeah, it, it, it's interesting. We're known as the replay guys. We see the yeah. CEO of the replay guys for yeah. however many years, nearly 30 years next year. It will be, uh, it will be 30 years old. Um, I think actually we, we have multiple solutions and as much as we're known for replays and highlights, that's our live section solution. Um, we, we have a few other solutions that we've been working on over the last few years and some much older than others, but uh, there's the live section solution, which is replay and highlights. That's what we stood in front of. Yep. There's media section, uh, which is all around asset and content management. Um, so where we make lots of, we generate and record lots of content on the server, we want to manage that. So the layer above is media exception to manage that content, add metadata to it, you know, push it to archive systems, edit systems. Right. Um, uh, I would say around that is media infra. That's a relatively new area for EVS. So it's media infrastructure, the idea okay. of routing, control, orchestration. Right. Um, so products like multi-viewers, like uh, a control system, a router control okay. system, a router. Um, and then above all of that, as we generate all of this content and we start to add metadata to it and enhance it in mediaception, we have um, a media hub, which is a content and distribution platform that goes sort of above all of that. So it's a way for rights owners and rights holders to uh, distribute their content um, to, to their affiliates or their, their dependees, let's say. Fantastic. So you must have uh, something new. Uh, 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 yeah, I mean, you've probably got lots new. Yeah. Any highlights you'd like to pinpoint? Yeah, I think, well, the one we stood in front of, I mean, a couple of years ago, we announced LSMV. We, we have a, a remote controller that is literally 29 years old. So right. a couple of years ago, we well, announced yeah. LSMV. Um, we launched it during COVID, so we didn't really get to show it at trade shows. So this is probably only the second or third trade show we've had this at. Okay. But we've been building this cockpit around the LSMV, around the new remote controller. Um, the idea that we sort of, we build, a, a, like I say, a cockpit that the operator sits at. And embedded within this, we start to add more and more new features. So the ability to browse the record trains across the network. This is multi-review on the right-hand side. Yeah. Um, so visibility of more and more and more inputs, more and more servers on the network. But what's quite cool for this show and, and what's new is the idea of taking the content we generate um, and using our Extra Motion product, so Extra Motion 2.0 that we've announced here, right. and generating frames of video using AI. I was so, going to say AI in replay has been a bit of a bit buzzword for a while. It has. So, you know, yeah, go on. So um, what we can do is when we make a clip, EVS support super slow motion cameras for many years, you yeah. know, and you need three phases, you take lots of record channels, and you have three times or six times or eight times super slow motion cameras. Yeah. What's quite interesting is in a sport like basketball or in a, in a level like college basketball, you don't have super slow motion cameras. You can't, no. you know, cost reasons mean no. you can't. No. What we can do is take any camera, any input to our server, any sports, any camera, any single phase input, from a mini cam that's embedded in a helmet to a net right. cam, okay. um, and we can make super slow motion from it. And essentially what we do is we take a, a 50 or a 60 frame per second camera, and we use AI to generate the two the two To interpolate frames. effectively. Yeah, into... and it's it's yeah. actually, so we, we do interpolation. So the interpolated image is on the right, that's on the left, sorry, that's on a traditional okay. slowed down replay image. Right. And what we do is we add the frames of video, we use AI to generate frames of video that didn't exist to make this much smoother um, su super slow motion image. So That's you can nice. really see the difference between a sort of a, yeah, a stuttering can. image on the on the left and a very smooth S image on the right. And we can do that, so it's the first replay. And just out of, you know, uh, this is its first ver iteration, so to speak, um, what sort of, how many frames per second are you emulating here? So at this point, we're doing three times super slow-mo. So okay. if it's 50 frames a second, we go to 150. If it's yeah. 60, we go to 180. Yeah. This is actually the second iteration. And you've got no light issues as well, of course, because exactly. you're just taking the exactly. right. Exactly, yeah. you have the flickering lights. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. it's brilliant. The, the, this is the second iteration. The first iteration, the, 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 our clients came to us and said cloud, SaaS, you know, lots of buzzwords, and okay. we deployed it in public cloud um, as a as a SaaS as a SaaS model, yeah, um, and it was successful. The problem with using cloud is there's a, a speed issue, a speed of turnaround, and we could get it. We could get this quality, but it would be the third replay in a replay sequence, or the fourth replay in right. a replay sequence. And, it, and and our customers came to us and said, we want the first replay. The only way to do that is either on prem or on the edge. 
So that's what we've done here, is we've actually taken it out of cloud. We're one of those people that have come out of cloud right. and move it to the edge because we can now have the first replay. So the speed of doing this, at the point that I press the button to initiate, yeah. um, within five seconds, I can be playing it back out of my server to air. And, you and effectively, to, 150 frames. Look at that, 150 frames per second exactly. slow it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it, it's, it, for, in, in the world of EVS, in the world of replays, speed is of the essence. So Absolutely. it's interesting to start in the cloud, but actually come back down on prem or to the edge. The to excitement the is now, not yeah. exactly. three replays down. Yeah. So um, before we finish up, I mean, the other thing, I say being so, you know, so ingrained in the industry, you must be noticing some big trends yeah, yeah. I think obviously cloud is one and that discussion yeah. about cloud and edge. Yeah. And so the idea of balanced computing, where we deploy our solutions or parts of our solutions to bring the most value and yeah. whether it's in the cloud or on-prem or on COTS or, you know, so that's a real good example of balanced computing. Yeah. The other one is sustainability. So another um, another yeah. new product that we've just announced is our Neuron Multiview, um, Neuron View, um, which is a multi-viewer solution. Yeah. Um, and, and in terms of sustainability, even though it's hardware, even though it's a, it's a physical chassis, um, the power consumption is, I think it's 120 watts. And that's that compared to the previous? Well, this is a new product, yeah. but what we did is we benchmarked it against the competition um, yeah. at a similar scale. So 64 inputs and eight outputs um, go on hardware in FPGA runs at 120 watts. If you do it on compute, on COTS, it's about 900 watts. Oh, wow. So it's a significant okay. reduction. Yeah. So there are real benefits to hardware on-prem solutions in terms of sustainability, in terms of uh, power consumption alone um, yeah. that, that we can talk about. And we're that's a big driver for EVS. We're looking at how we reduce our power consumption for our customers continually. But that's a, a, the Neuron's a great example of, of something that, yeah, when you're saving 70, 80% power reduction, obviously that turns into cost savings for our customers as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. It's one of the most important messages out there at the moment in the industry. Indeed. And certainly at NAB. Yeah, sure. definitely. Yeah. Brilliant. It's been great chatting with you, Alex. Hope you have a good show. Um, please visit website. Uh, website cvs.com. And EVS. we are com. at NAB in uh, N2147, in the north. 214. So yeah. if you are here tomorrow, then uh, uh, you will be able to come along and see it. Otherwise, evs.com. And for everything else that Kit Plus is doing at the show, it's kitplus.com.